Hey y'all, I am coming to you with news hot off the presses. Kamala Harris has been chosen to be Joe Biden's running mate against uh, the Trump Pence ticket. I am very excited. Um, I hope that they have a winning strategy and that they are pulling everyone. And I, when I say everyone, I mean, I hope that they are pulling everyone together for, um, for this uh, campaign. They need to leave no stone unturned. They cannot afford to uh, underestimate Pence and Trump and to think that they can easily win because of intelligence and because of their track records and because of their um, connections. Okay, that's how Hillary lost. Um, they really need to be reaching out to all of their constituents and they definitely need to be visiting every single state. So, um, and that means not just them per se, but members of their team, members of their people, they need to be reaching out to their people in each one of the states and even the territories to, um, garner support from all of their people. You know, don't ignore anybody, which I believe Hillary did ignore um, a couple of people. So they really need to get in there and, you know, use all of the, the resources that are, um, that they have available. They really need to do that. Um, that require, what it requires is candidates who really care about the constituents and what's going on in the country right now. Not someone that can just, you know, um, talk that talk, which is what Trump is doing. He's selling wolf, wolf, what is it? Wolf, wolf, whatever they are, wolf cookies, wolf, whatever. Uh, it's a male thing. I don't know what it is, but wolf, you know, he's, He's a con artist. Um, but what it is is that people like to hear what they like to hear. If you're willing to tell them what they want to hear, then they are likely to uh, support you. And that's most people. But the thing that gets to all people is when people can really tell that you really care, you're going to respond in, such, in a certain way. You're going to speak to them in a certain way. You're going to handle yourself in a certain way. You know, when you have contempt for people, that comes out. We've seen it over and over again with Trump. Even with um, yesterday, there being a shooter. You saw his response. Um, the Secret Service interrupted him. And... They're telling him, you need to leave. There's a shooter. Did you see the, his response? I noticed that. This was not a person that was concerned that an American had been shot outside the White House. This person has no care or concern at all. Not at all. And I've heard some people say, that's the reason why Pan is just running rampant in America right now. Um, I don't know if that's the reason why. Uh, what other people would blame on an entity, I blame on who you see. Donald Trump. This is Donald J. Trump. This is his whole lackadaisical attitude from even before he got in there. Um which I don't believe that he ever really wanted to be in this position, you know? And so he is really trying to milk it for all it's worth, you know? And I believe that what this will do is it will guarantee that when he steps off that last step from the White House, he is going straight to jail, straight to jail. Now, he, he may be able to have money on his books in, in six figures, seven figures. But he's going to jail if he doesn't, you know, die first. Because uh, he is very 
very elderly and he does look in poor health and this is a person that has been eating fast food and all this kind of stuff so uh yeah he's on but getting back to my point i'm excited about this election i i have did my duty i have voted in the primary I voted in the special election. I have told the people that I could tell. I have cut all the fat out of my life. People who are not registered to vote. People who are not concerned about this country. People who are um, looking to leech off this country instead of um, add to this country. Okay? Um Please let me know down below your comments and thoughts and ideas and suggestions and anything, you know, let me know what you think. Inbox me. Um, you can uh, inbox me on Instagram. You can inbox me on Facebook um, and comment below. All right. Like this video, subscribe to this vi video and stay tuned to what's going to be going down. <laughs> It's, just, it's a historical uh, moment and one that we definitely need it, okay? We definitely need it because it has been, um, we have to be better people. You understand? We have to be better people to deserve good leadership. We have to be, the individual constituents need to do better. So that we can require better of our leadership, our representative. These people represent us. Do you understand? Trump is a representative of exactly who America is right now, who America has been. You know, it, face it. Face the ugly, fat, ugly, vain, narcissistic, selfish greedy truth he is our representative he is a reflection of who we are as a nation now we need to do better we can do better we will do better we are doing better.